Welcome to Operations Analytics. I am Dr. James Rowe from Roller College of Business at Rowan University. Uh, the topic of this lecture is simulation modeling. Simulation has many advantages and uh, is one of most widely used analytics technique. So we will look at how we can use this uh, widely used tool in Excel. Let us look at the overview of operations analytics. Uh, we have covered linear programming and uh, time series forecasting is about predictive analytics. And today we will be learning about simulation modeling and next time waiting line uh, and the queuing theory. We have three learning objectives. The first is explain the advantages and disadvantages of simulation. Second, understand the five steps of conducting a Monte Carlo simulation. The third is analyze a simulation model as applied to business. The agenda are, uh, first I want to talk about the advantages and uh, disadvantages of simulation and then introduce Monte Carlo simulation to you and then uh, apply this method to various business situations. Let us think about briefly why simulation is needed. Simulation is one of the most widely used quantitative analysis tools. To simulate is to try to duplicate the features, appearance, and characteristics of a real system. Building on a mathematical model, one can um, imitate the real situation and therefore they can learn important characteristics of a business situation without actually attempting it. By doing so, we can understand what is important, what is critical, what is not critical, and which part we have to be careful about. And this is a, a time saving and cost saving. That's why uh, simulation is quite popular um, in business world, not only in business world, but, uh, but in other occasions as well. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of simulation. Um, the advantages are numerous. Uh, first, we can think about um, the advantage of relatively straightforward and flexible. It can be used to compare many different scenarios side by side and change things around and compare them as well. The second thing is recent advances in software make some simulation models very easy to develop. And the benefit is that we can uh, easily implement and, and uh, contrast and changes. Uh, the third is it can be used to analyze large and complex real world situations that cannot be solved by conventional quantitative analysis models. For example, it may not be possible to build and solve a mathematical model of a city government system that incorporates important economic, social, environmental, and political factors. Simulation has been used successfully to model urban systems, hospitals, educational systems, national and state economies, and even world food systems. So uh, there's a huge advantage in simplifying and uh, analyzing large and complex real system. The third advantage is simulation allows what if types of questions. Managers like to know in advance what options are attractive, what options are not attractive. With a computer, a manager can try out several policy decisions within a matter of minutes. Simulations uh, also do not interfere with the real world system. It may be uh, too disruptive, for example, to experiment with new policies right away. Uh, however, if we just simulate first and uh, understand and see what kind of things we can expect from the simulation that can be easily done. Simulation allows us to study the interactive effect of individual components or variables before knowing it. Oftentimes, we don't know how a policy would interact with a system or individual or a small department that we are not so sure. But by running it first, we may be able to understand the interact, interactive effect there. 
and uh, uh, time compression is possible with the simulation. You know, in real world, we have to wait until, you know, 24 hours passes or one month passes, pass. we have to wait for it. However, in simulation, you can compress the time and run it quickly and see how uh, 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 a policy would have long-term effect. And simulation allows for the inclusion of real-world complications that most quantitative analysis models cannot permit. A mathematical, mathematical models may be limited in including certain kind of uh, uh, um, disadvantages or complications or factors that might be negatively affecting the whole government or department, but they can be included in simulation and see if how, what kind of impact it would have uh, in, in the system later. So that's a, another advantage of uh, simulation. What are the disadvantages of simulation? Uh, first, good simulation models um, for complex situations are often very expensive. It is often a long and complicated process to develop a model and a corporate planning model, for example, may take months or even years to develop. Second, simulation does not generate optimal solutions to problems as to other quantitative analysis techniques. Uh, we have learned about linear programming and it, it is all about optimization. And uh, we can see what is the best point, what is not best point. However, in simulation, we cannot see it. You know, it heavily depends on managerial insights and, and intuition. The third uh, disadvantage is managers must generate all of the conditions and constraints for the solutions that they want to examine. Uh, so in simulation, you have to try everything out uh, and compare them together. And if you miss one situation, you know, kind of you are out of luck. Uh, uh, you, too bad that you missed that important option. So uh, it is important for a group of people to spread out the all kinds of possible scenarios and simulate them all together. Lastly, uh, each sim simulation model is unique. Its solution and interferences are not usually transferable to other problems because we have already set variables and probabilities that are specific to the simulation only. So it is very hard to generalize it into a larger problems without uh, limiting those scope of the factors.